three of this Get It Together With Me series. My name is Ashley and in today's video, I will be cleaning and organizing my refrigerator and my in-kitchen pantry. We're also going grocery shopping today, so I'm going to have a ton of fresh product to stock our shelves with. And stay tuned because I will be sharing a vegan grocery haul and meal planning on a budget video um, very soon on my channel. And if you like that sort of content, please consider subscribing and let's jump right into the video. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never backing down, backing down, backing down. That's what I like about you. Starting off with the refrigerator, I decided to do it in sections, that way I don't have a ton of product just sitting out. So after I empty out the inside, I go through and get rid of any expired or unedible product. And I hate to admit this, but a few of these prepared items have been in there for way longer than they should have. What is the grossest thing that you found in your fridge or pantry? I actually found some bread that I forgot I tucked away in the cupboard to hide from the cats and it was literally blue. It was so disgusting. Now that this section of the fridge is all clean, I start organizing some products back into the fridge before I get started on the door. One thing you will notice is that I'm not using any storage containers in the fridge. 
and that's just because they're not in our budget right now. I do end up using one in the freezer and a couple in the pantry that I just found lying around our apartment, but basically all the fridge and pantry organizational videos that I've watched have all of these storage bins and containers, and don't get me wrong, they look beautiful, and they are like ultimate kitchen goals, but they aren't necessary. You can totally create an organized space that is still aesthetically pleasing without spending any money. And that's exactly what I did in this video. So that is what it looks like at the moment. Later on, I do go through and add in the new groceries, which does fill it up a bit more. But I challenged myself and my husband to spend less than $125 on groceries for the next two weeks. And I'm really happy because we were able to pick up a few of our favorite snacks and still stay within budget. But next, I'm moving on to the freezer, and it's really small. I mean, the entire refrigerator is small. But I really love what I did with this space in particular. That frozen breast milk was taking up half of the door, but I found a plastic container to store it in, and it makes such a difference. Uh, uh -oh. We're gonna fall in love. You get this feeling, wouldn't it be awesome? And baking necessities in this cupboard and I found a basket that I decided to use for the baking stuff 
Most baking recipes call for several of these items, so I like that I can just grab the basket and have all of those things at my fingertips. And I actually love to bake and cook too. I'm definitely not skilled at baking, but I love the creative outlet. And with the holidays coming up, I'm sure I will be baking a lot more. I'm really excited for pie. Let me know what your favorite holiday treat is. I used the last basket I had lying around to hold some proteins like beans, TVP, tuna for my husband. But if you don't have any empty containers lying around or you can't consolidate the ones you do have, there's nothing wrong with having just the food items organized into appropriate categories. You just want to make sure that the placement of these items makes sense so you're not constantly shuffling through items every time you need something. So once I'm finished organizing the cupboards, I actually called it a night because it was pretty late at this point. And our plans changed a little, so we ended up going grocery shopping the following day. But I do go through and put all of the new groceries away neatly.
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure that you catch my vegan grocery haul on a $60 budget video. I'll see you next time. Bye.